Alright, so I'm playing against uh, the Wizards this game and then this game as well. I want to play against the Wizards. Yeah. Might regret this, but I want to play against the box as well. So I'll we'll play these three games. Hopefully, we win. We'll play against the Timberwolves. And the Heat. Yeah, they're one and five. That's great. They're on a two game losing streak. They do got Miles Bridges, so we'll see. Oh, who say does that? Welcome everyone to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Washington Wizards going up against the Charlotte Hornets. Here, rivalry games, Grant, always extra spicy, especially when they feature teams from the same conference. Ooh, I like a little spice. But remember, only one team per conference gets to the final, so that's going to naturally develop some rivalries here and there. So tonight should be a really competitive game. So a look at our starters for the Wizards. Amia Kuzma at the forward slots. Tyus Jones is out there with Kispert and Holmes in at the center position. Jones, the pass to Avdia. Kispert on the wing. Six to shoot. Pass to Avdia. Fires from the line. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. And Ball will bring it up here for Charlotte. Their first look at this year's Washington squad. And in a series of the half knots last year, they came to the end. Really looking for some improvement here. And that's what you can get from Brandon Miller. He can really whip passes there around the court. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Pass to Avdia. Holmes, a screen on Bagley. And stolen by Williams. Here's Miller. Brother Miller for three. Got it. Charlotte with the triple. Love the confidence from this young man. Miller is so quick off the catch. Jones, the pass to Holmes. Bagley against Kuzma. And it's blocked. Oh, by Bagley. We'll see if they can keep this going. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just to sustain some of that Shit. energy and keep comfortable. And the Wizards call time here. And a chance to see the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Always fun to see where everyone in the league stands. You take a look at Philadelphia. They're a rising team climbing to fifth on the board. Seeing where the Hornets are, they're off to a really solid start, pushing aside those that doubted them in the preseason and proving they're capable of more. Outside Jones, pass to Holmes. Kuzma against Bagley, just five on the clock. Looking to win the run. The Wizards with another miss. 
Man, he's had three good looks at the basket and nothing to show for it. And Grant, for years, the Wizards resisted calls to rebuild. But things changed this summer. Yeah, B.A., and even though the return for their stars wasn't as dramatic as we saw for teams like the Jazz, I think there's a sense of relief in D.C. that the organization is resetting and trying something new. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. Pool outside. Pass the ball over Jones. Obdia pulls it in for Washington. I don't know why I lost that four, Missing their first four attempts. Oh, the shot no good by Kispert. Yeah, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Bagley passes to Miller. It's Poole on the wing. 23 points his last outing. Here's Bagley. Uses the glass to oh. the layup. And this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. And it's Jones with the ball for the Wizards. Oh, no, no, no. For their first basket of the game. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Elapsed here in the first quarter. From down in the low post, it goes. Yeah. Good look from the big man as Holmes gets it to the other guy and not forcing his shot. Pass to Miller. Williams with the screen. And here's Poole. Out of bounds. Ah. So it'll be Washington's ball. Now all four of the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, errant pass. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Stolen by Ball. Driving in to the left wing. Bagley is screen on Jones. Ball with it. And it's Kuzma picking him up. Oh, the big finish taking charge of the game largely with the detailed interior attack well how good have they been on the inside tonight just getting down into the painted area just dominating controlling that spot back to kuzma pass to kispert puts up a three gets a second attempt to go now he's one for two and kuzma showing more and more that he's becoming a playmaker on the offensive end of the floor Poole outside. Williams with the screen. Poole, the pass to Williams. The kick out to Poole. Williams with the screen. The three from Ball. And the Hornets, another three. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Oh, Washington oh. has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Jones, the pass to Holmes. Against Jones. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Grant, during your 18 year career, you only went to a new team three times. Not a lot of movement there for you, my friend. What was switching teams like? Well, BA, at this point of the season, it's just it's too early. I mean, you're still trying to get comfortable, trying to learn a new system, your new environment. And really just find your place within the organization. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. They show so it. much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. Back to Jones. The Hornets pulled That's in. Fine. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Miller, pass to Bagley. Here's Miller. Six on the shot clock. 
The kick out to Williams. From downtown. Offensive rebound. Given his range. I tried it. I tried it. All right, we're back into the game. It's 46 35. Charlotte has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. So on the floor for the Wizards. Miles Bridges is out there with Obvia. Then there's Tyus Jones. Then there's Corey Kispert. And it's Holmes in at the center. And being that wall as a point guard, it's his responsibility to facilitate. Just a terrific dime right there. Jones with the ball. 27 points his last game. Kispert on the wing. Jones with a screen on ball. And here's Kispert from the arc. Good yeah. efficiency. He's dreamed four out of five. Three, his five. third shot from downtown this quarter. Four for the game. Now ball. He's got five. Pass to Richards. It's good. And the assist that time for ball. Ball's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Yes, I was going to assist for you. Which one's seven? Bridges on the wing. And counted. Now four for nine. And they're in a better flow this quarter offensively. And their shooting percentage is steadily rising as a result. And it's time for an injury report. Hi, guys. The head athletic trainer for Washington has provided some info for us. Already, the back is suffering from loss of function and restricted movement. It sounds like we won't be seeing him back on the floor anytime soon. Who got hurt? Oof. This is a tough it. loss. All we can hope for is that the prognosis isn't as bad as it seems, guys. Yeah, we were hoping for much better news, and obviously, not very encouraging. Yeah, we always think about when players go down, how terrible a blow it can be for the team. We wish him well. I hope he's on the floor quickly. Pass to Kispert. Hey, in six and ten, he's made that. five. Talk about efficiency. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. And I love watching Kispert do his thing up and down the court, Brent. Well, he's got all the time. That's what I'm talking about. John Wall with the statement. Oh, that's pretty. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? That was nice. Too. Where is he? There you go. Thirteen twelve. Couldn't have captured that play any better. Washington has gone four of six from outside. Looking sharp here in the second. Jones, the pass to Holmes. To the inside. Richards pulls it in. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Ball left side. Williams with the screen. The Bello driving. And ball throws it down. Don't blink. <laughs> ball will blow your doors off. Oops, not bad. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for Washington. They trail by 14. Pass to Kispert. Let's the three fly. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got his fourth rebound in this one. Wall, the pass to Miller. On the take. Good work there as it goes. Brandon Miller. Miller's got nine. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Timeout, timeout. Time call by Washington. 
Washington. They're coming off that loss against Art. Philadelphia. It's just so difficult to win when you waste as many chances at the line as they did. Yeah, it's not always just about free throw shooting, but it can be a large factor and disrupt your confidence. with it defended by Jones here's Miller just five to shoot outside wall over off the end it's wide right hits off the rim Washington has gone six of 14 from the perimeter tonight now Jones oh it's blocked by Williams here's Miller defended by Kuzma the ball. Now here's Wall. Richards with a screen. Wall with it, and it's Holmes picking him up. Wall pass to Richards. Rebound Washington. That was a terrible. Holmes has got his fourth rebound in this one. Washington has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. Right side Jones. Yep, that one goes. Okay. Jones has got his third basket on the night right there. Well, that screen wasn't quite as effective as it could be. However, he found a way to get it done. Credit to Shooter for overcoming that aggressive defense. Williams has checked in for Richards. And here's Ball. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Dallas. Really and hits the three. Game, what he did well was just facilitate the offense. Pass the ball around beautifully in that one. Seriously, put on a passing clinic.
Welcome, everybody. It may be early on in the season, but not too early to take a full assessment of the Eastern Conference standings. Taking a look here now at the Hornets, they started this season on the right foot, something we kind of expected given their offseason. We'll see if this is a pace they can maintain as the year rolls on. And as for our matchup, what a tremendous first half it was for the Charlotte Hornets. What really blew open this game was their second unit, Shaq. Once those guys came in their game, it was lights out. And I see them going to the same substitution pattern in the second half. Why not? The way they're running off of this game, they might clear the bench by the start of the fourth quarter. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. All right, let's get this. I don't know if Boston can get seven points in the And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for the Wizards. It's an 18-point game. Miller is out there with Marvin Bagley. Then it's Jordan Poole. Then there's LaMelo Ball. And it's Williams in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five to begin the second half for Steve Clifford. Ooh, nice shot by Miller. The assist oh. numbers certainly stand out. They really emphasize ball movement here today. Pass to Holmes. With the teardrop, Hornets with the rebound. Williams has got rebound number seven tonight. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alex. Oh. Well, the Hornets are trying to work their way up. Coach Steve Clifford said the whole thing that you want to try to create in any season is finding ways to get better every day. You have to be able to handle frustration just like you handle success. I'm proud of the way they've hung in there and the attitude that we've had about it. Brian? Yeah, you can see him building, Allie. Thank you. You gotta respect the enthusiasm LaMelo Ball brings to his game. He thrives out here under the bright lights with all eyes on him. That one goes. Count it. Get that. Holmes has got his first points of the night. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Williams with the screen. The drive by Poole. Oh, and makes it with a kiss. And those are two tough points from Poole. Great to see him mixing it up down low. Washington's got minutes. six out of 15 three so far in this game. Holmes passes to Kispert. Holmes a screen on Poole. That's it. And it's the Hornets on the break. Finished off the break. Poole's got four points now in the quarter. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one. Right now, three straight buckets to start the quarter. No wonder the Mellow Father gets an assist. <laughs> Over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. Alright, not a deal with that, but I guess we go. Still trailing at the final buzzer. A lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Williams, a screen on Kuzma. Here's Miller. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my. Throwing it down. Oh, my. That was and that's how Miller can take his game to the next level by being aggressive and attacking the basket. Here's Jones. Again, Washington, no good. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Pass to Miller. Inside. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. They're making Marvin it look Bagley. easy out there, just having fun. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. Here's Jones. Give him eight. Holmes finds Kuzma. And there's the call on the Mellow Ball. That's his third foul of the game. Third personal foul. Second team foul. And stolen by Bagley. 
Not the best pass, guys, and the defense took full advantage. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. The Wizards have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. against Ball. Williams with the screen. Ball passes to Williams. Misses in yeah. close. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot, and for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. Here's Jones, and he'll oh draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Jordan, it's going to go on Jordan Poole. First personal well, that's good from Jones. And, the and even the players have expressed concern yeah, about load management. Are changes afoot, or is this the new normal, Greg? Well, B.A., I think protecting players from injury is smart to do. But maybe the ticket sellers need to highlight the back-to-back -back game so fans are well aware that some players might be sitting. Williams with the screen. Shot clock at six. Ball outside. Fires for three. Washington with a rebound. Here's Kuzma. Give him eight points now. Kispert, the pass to Holmes. And here's Jones. Ooh, excellent D there from Ball. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout? and reiterate what he talked about at halftime. Driving to the basket. Determined to get through and finish. Oh my Miller God. With flair in his first year. Impressive body. looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Jones with the ball. He's got nine. There's a screen. Hornets oh. down. Richards has checked in for Williams, and it's Martin in for Poole. Substitution for the Hornets. Nick Richards. Here's Kispert. 14 points for him. Clock at six. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. On the wing, Jones. Knocks down the triple. Jones has got 12 points in the game. And that's a defensive lapse. A shooter of his caliber can't be left wide open. Ball against Jones. Ball into the lane. And Ball throws it down. That gives him a double-double. And Ball makes the intelligent play. Using the tried-and-true pick-and-roll to create an opening. Avdia passes to Kuzma. Let's go with a three. Miller pulls it in. Miller's got six rebounds in the game. Richards with a screen. Martin with a ball. And it's Holmes picking him up. Here's Richards. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Give him eight. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Outside Jones. Holmes down low. Richards is there. Here's Kuzma. Miller pulls it in. That was some very intimidating, aggressive defense that really helped alter that shot. Well, as a champion and a 20-point per game score, Kyle Kuzma has exceeded all expectations. Well, I like the recovery of Kyle Kuzma. You know, he had the early years where he was successful and then maybe lost himself in some...
think it's over. Yep, 120 to 85 is your final. Brian Miller had 22 points. Mark back had 20 points. I don't like the fact that Brandon Miller took 22, 20 shots to hit, 20 points. Jordan Poole had 19 points. He also had 3 steals. Mark Williams, 15 out of 11. Paul, who struggled a little bit. 14 points, 15 assists, and 2 steals. John Wall did not shoot well from the 3 point, three point line, but he had 10 points either way. And Grant Williams is shooting better. So we're going to play these two games here. And then I think we want to play against the Timberwolves and the Heat. Definitely going to want to go up against the Nuggets and the Lakers here. So I'm going to try to fast forward a little bit. Just a bit. Ooh. Hold up. But I already have like three, two good centers. What's it, what's it? You know what I'm saying? Like I have three really good centers. But I already have Norm, Mark Williams and all of them. I really don't need Mitchell Robinson. But that first round pick is interesting. We're going to decline it because I really don't need Mitchell Robinson. I really don't. If anything. I really don't need this team. That guy. With all due respect. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Do all those good things. Catch you on the next one. Peace. When you're playing against the NCAA tournament, these two games here, we're going to go up against the Timberwolves. So, peace.